fantastic uh, stick of wood right there. And uh, this one here should uh, finish off the load. Of course, uh, the chain had to come off now on the last stick of wood. It was always good to have a chainsaw wrench with you. It's up a bit high there now, and I tell you, you, you look directly into the, the sun like that, you can feel the heat, you know. But uh, I got my load of wood, I'm heading back now, so all is good. Had to go a little bit early this morning, I was checking a few traps. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to check, but uh, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of firewood later on as well. That's the second trap of the morning. Uh, you know, uh, be so late getting daylight now, you got to get on the go a bit early, or, or the day is just gonna keep creep away from you a bit too fast. So uh, anyway, that's the second one there. The wind dropped out there now. Uh, looks like it's gonna be another large day here in the big land. Uh, only got a couple more traps to check, but I'm happy to report I won't be skunked anyway. <laughs> so I'm just gonna switch the traps out here now and uh, mosey on to the next one. I think I'm soon gonna pull the, the traps here and move on to another area. Uh, I got a a little bit of trail to cut and all that, but I guess there'll be more on that later anyway, so uh, just gonna move on here for now. There's a big old stick I got burned here uh, during a forest fire uh, a few years ago, and uh, you know, you can get a lot of wood just out of one stick like this. crack here in the tree and it goes right on down there this could be a, a good place to look for a bit of fat wood you know well I must say you know it's a good workout <laughs> making as well so I'm gonna clean he up now and get he in the pot for uh, make a bit of soup I like to have two or even three sometimes but, uh, but you know we can make a pot of soup on one too so, so that'll be good when I was cutting firewood I showed this crack in the stick and said it could be a good place you know to get some fat wood and when I split it you can see you now there's some resin on it but it's not soaked in real thick like uh, it's still got a lot of resin you know it'll start easy but uh, but like it's not the real good fat wood as such, but sometimes you can find it like that. But uh, one good thing about this, just the same, it still makes it a lot easier for lighting the, lighting the fire in the morning. Well, you can see there, like, and this is where this, the color of the wood there, you can see is uh, more yellow, like where the, there is a bit of resin on the wood. But I'm not going to touch it there, but you can see, like, uh, right there. But, so, even though, you know, I'm not going to cutting this off for fat water as such. 
I'm just showing if there's one match. It makes it real easy for starting the fire in the morning. You don't need no uh, kindling or anything. I can lodge that in the stove just like that. I'll have my fire going in all the time. Well, that's the fifth trap and uh, nothing so far. Only another three or four left to check, so uh, you know. I'd like to get one, but you know, if I don't, well, nothing I can do about it. <laughs> what a stick of wood! Look at that. See this old burnt bark? I tear off as much of that as I could. Real dirty, you know. <laughs> Well guys, I was out today, uh, checked another half a dozen Merton traps uh, near a Merton, I really slowed down that area, I'm soon going to take all those up and uh, move on to another spot, and uh, I did get three uh, Parmigan, I uh, got them picked there, but I'm going to do something that I, uh, I don't do very often, I'm going to freeze them like that because we're leaving early in the morning and go to the south coast. Yeah, so I was out, checked a few traps, got a few Parmigan, I got another load of wood. And, uh, but uh, the battery is dead in the camera there, so, uh, but anyway, uh, I've seen enough of me cutting wood. <laughs> and when I got back, I had a bit of snow to clear. So I've got the snow blowing the shit now that it's dry off. I'm going to leave it in there now since we're leaving. And uh, before I go, I want to show you this. This is a, a Christmas gift that I had from uh, Tony Anderson there in McCovey. And uh, this is a uh, stuff Martin box that he uses. Merry Christmas, Bill. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I love all gifts like this. Pretty cool. I believe, yeah, this one. I was in the I showed uh, this doll a box in the video before. the shed wall here somewhere but uh, what I'll do I'll sit out and use them for a bit and then I'll take them and uh, just hang it on the wall here somewhere so just that I show that it was pretty good on flattens right out I'll make up more space so yeah, get to your spot just open up and huh? just we're in together right there and yeah you're ready to go to show that before I go so uh, yeah so you know uh, the trap has been pretty slow we got off a pretty good start and I think most everyone slowed down really quick uh, uh, you mean that's trapping so uh, I'm still gonna move into another area got a little bit of trail to cut and got some trail to break in another spot so we'll keep busy anyway you know as long as you're making progress one way or the other I suppose it's all good uh, I hope y'all had a fantastic Christmas uh, yeah, and so uh, I guess that's it for this one, though. I uh, really appreciate y'all watching, and really hope to see you all in the next one. All the best from the big man.